Festival. But the plot of Easy Virtue is, a, is an old classic. It's, it's, it's meet the posh parents, that's how Colin puts it. Yeah, I play um, John Whitaker in Easy Virtue, who is the um, sort of naive young Englishman, um, falls completely head over heels for her, marries her instantly, and then brings her home to meet his very British parents and brings her home to the country manor. And um, she's not all that her family expected to be. The prodigal son returns in a blaze of gravel. Daddy! Father, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, darling, sorry, sir. Mother, this is my wife, Marita. <laughs> Mrs. Whitaker, the pleasure is all mine. Oh, you're American. So, Larita is a, um, very opinionated, loud, brassy American woman who is very modern, very progressive in the way she thinks about the world. Um, she really, uh, she really has a spice and a and a and a zest for life to her. I'm getting a machine gun and mowing down your entire family. Hmm. Well, that's fairly disappointing. I thought at least you and father were getting along. Hmm. Yes, I might spare the menfolk. She won't stand for any of their nonsense. So um, this kind of war of wits between the family and. Um, and, and my wife ensues. Is it true you've had as many lovers as they say? Of course it's not true. Hardly any of them actually loved me. Ben's character is such, such a, like a kid. You know, he's this young guy and he doesn't want to take anything seriously and he wants to, you know, just push around all those serious things by making a joke out of everything and I think that's one of the reasons that their relationship really starts to break down. We have absolutely no privacy here. I've never needed any privacy before. This is my home. It's not mine. And I very much want one. He's got this sensational wife that he adores, but he's got all the home comforts that he's grown up with. You know, he is a country boy, and he and and, and he's got all these all these kind of events and dances and and parties and reviews that he's kind of used to. And he's got his, you know, he's very very much in love with his family who he's got around him. And uh, so, as far as he's concerned, he's going to try and have his cake and eat it. And then slowly, throughout the course of the film, he realizes his responsibility to his legacy and his responsibilities to his family. And he finds it difficult to balance that with the love he feels for his wife. It takes one look at a woman like you. The harlot stealing into the nursery. The delicious concubine with the delectable ears. Nose. And it's really starting to crumble. This, this bond that was so strong is just starting to be ripped apart. John! Oh. 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 Jessica Biel is, is absolute 100% original, true 40s movie star. You just, people, some people are born with it. I mean, you can't, you can't go to acting school or you can't go to beauty schools and learn what a certain person has. You, a certain person is born with it. Jessica's got it. What am I supposed to do with the bauble of a woman? Hang her. Stefan was always checking me, you know, that was too nice, it's too sweet, it's too nice, it's too sweet. Harder, tougher, faster, quicker, cooler. I mean, it was, it was all, I was always working against what I naturally wanted to do as me. And half the fun of this film was unleashing Jess and letting her go, which was quite an effort for her. Can I get you anything? A shovel. Of course. Tell the truth, I've never really liked a crabby, snappy little bitch. I didn't like the dog much either. It wasn't going to be this generic, stuffy period drama or really kind of romantic film. I met the director and I knew he wouldn't, that isn't the kind of film that he would want to make. We all know there's a certain type of uh, British film that gets made. I'm asleep. I'm out like a light. I was out like a sleep. I was asleep right the first three minutes of the Duchess. Out like a light. So that was a real big one for me. I actually had to say, how do I keep myself awake? You're smiling, Jim. God forbid, the wind might change. <laughs> I didn't want to do a romantic film that, that, was, that had been done before. And for me, this one sort of started at the end. You know, you have the, you know, the kisses and the champagne and the balcony and the sunset and the marriage right at the beginning. And so then where do you go from there, you know? Down, I think, is the answer. You go ahead, darling. I'll play with myself. We do not need any more reminders of your easy virtue. Just trying to get into the swing of things. 